Bellotto was founded in 2003 under the understanding that we lived in an unjust society and that LGBT young people particularly were experiencing homophobia and transphobia um, in schools and families and communities and that we wanted to do something about it. There really was no place where LGBT young people could come together and discuss the issues which were affecting them. They were the first group, I think, that really brought young people into the equality agenda. In the early days we did get a fair bit of opposition and I think a lot of that was based on this two ideas. I think one was that, that young people couldn't be LGBT uh, at all. And then the other idea was that belong to us an organisation was somehow turning kids gay. It's never about telling a young person they're lesbian, gay or bisexual or transgender. It's giving them a safe and appropriate place and space where they can explore those issues themselves. To me, they're the most important group that has happened over the last few decades. When I was growing up, uh, the prevailing emotion for a gay person was fear. They had to be on the guard all the time in case the mask dropped and they gave themselves away. When it comes to the young people that we work with and did work with 10 years ago, they often get very negative messages about what it is to be gay or lesbian or bisexual or transgender. And we wanted to kind of counteract that by presenting a really positive message to the world that it's completely normal to be LGBT. The peer support that comes from just meeting other lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender young people, uh, I don't think you can put a value on that. Just knowing that there's a group full of people like you, it's amazing. It made me feel like, you know, there's actually other people out there like me, you know, that understand me and that didn't judge me for, you know, like who I wanted to be with. Uh, regardless of what you felt from the outside world or what you felt at school or what you felt at home, it meant for one whole day you got to be you. Sometimes just like having a friend or someone to talk to is more important than, you know, the things like the legal or, or medical aspects of um, you know, being a member of the trans community. There used to be people that would travel close to six hours just to come to belong to for two hours, you know, just so they could feel normal and accepted. Now we're at a situation where we have a total of 23 groups running in 14 counties around the country. You know, a young person doesn't have to travel from Sligo now to come to Dublin to access an LGBT youth group. I think it's really important work. I think it saves lives actually, um, but not just about saving lives, it's about improving uh, the quality and the opportunities uh, for young people. We work on advocacy, we work on policy, we have campaigns like the Stand Up campaign. All that work is so that LGBT young people have different experiences when they're growing up. When you have people like the Minister for Education on the basis of work that belong to have done stand up and say they're going to produce a policy document on homophobic bullying, those kind of changes mean that every school has to engage in this conversation and every school has to stand up, if you like, for these young people. If there were any highlight moments, it's really been around the, the whole stand-up campaign. When I was in secondary school in the first couple of years, it was actually illegal for a person to be, to be gay. There was no such thing in my school as a gay person. The only time you'd hear the word gay is they're talking about something in a negative way. Two years later, there's belong to posters all over the school, so like it just keeps getting better. To see in the space of four years the Stand Up campaign become a, a, an established annual part of the school calendar, you know, ten years ago I wouldn't have thought that was possible. For an organisation that's only had ten years, I mean the list of their achievements is quite spectacular. Their work is not just referenced domestically, it's now being referenced internationally and that's, that's an extraordinary acceleration of growth from the time I met them back in 2004. We have to keep in mind all of the young people out there who still are having a really hard time and what our work in the end of the day is about is getting to a point where no young person will have to go through that in this country. LGBT young people can have a huge impact on the world but in order for it to change in a very fundamental way we need everybody to take some level of responsibility. Solving these problems isn't just a good idea for LGBT young people, it's good for all young people and it's good for society in general. Having this support group and having hundreds of friends, like, it shows you that you're not alone. It's the best thing that's happened to me since I came out.